Hi guys, I'm going to show you how to now maintain a statistical project which is uh, another word for maintaining the area what we call guidebook publishing which is the blue box in the quick reference card. Yeah? So what don't you do is don't you go to favorites like I showed you before you right click on favorites and go insert transaction I want you to insert the transaction CJ20N CJ20N and I want you to click OK and that adds the transaction at the top there and then I want you to double click on the transaction yeah. what it will open is project builder is called cool. project builder has got a menu at the top there, it's got the project structure here project information on this side and some templates and, and favorites on this side as well yeah, and a work list so what we do is I need you to go and open, click on open which is that button there you go open and it brings up this little window on the project definition you need to type the three things that you can type S26 which is Kabul Publishing OS S27 and S28 which is Kabul Publishing UK and US yeah? so I put S26 straightforward like that and you click on OK and it's going to open the project yeah? so there is a project structure there on this side is the information on the right which is here and down at the bottom here there is some individual objects and the work list and a few other bits and pieces which I'll show you what you do with this in a second so the project structure you can see it literally has at the top level what appears on the left hand column of timesheets the name Kabul Publishing House and these lower levels here, these little triangles are the activities in the project yeah? so what I'm going to show you is two things I'm going to show you how to add and delete an activity which is one of these and I'm going to show you how to add and delete a person from the project so that they can timesheet or not to this project so first I'm going to do how an activity is added um, so what you need to do is you need to go down to here now at the bottom here there is work list and templates, I want you to click on templates and under templates there is three options, individual objects, projects and standard templates I need you to click on individual objects and underneath there you'll see that little triangle yeah? what I want you to do is I want you to click on that little triangle and drag and drop it at the top level where it says Guidebook Publishing OS yeah? so just drag and drop it there and as soon as you drop it it brings this window up in here it doesn't bring anything here yet but it brings up a window here that is blank so I want you to click on the title put new activity say whatever the new activity is and you press enter and as you see that as soon as you press enter the activity is going to appear here watch see how it appears and that's how you create a new activity literally you can now save which is at the top there up here and C's will now be able to see a new activity under this project a new place where you can collect money to delete an activity you click on it yeah, and you go edit status complete technically set yeah and if you do that what's going to happen is it's going to say on the system start is going to go from REL which is release to TECO which means technically complete yeah so there it goes to TECO now the next thing you want to do probably is just make sure that in the title you might want to write in brackets you know delete it or old or something so that just to make sure that you remember that you've done that to that activity yeah so that's how you get rid of something, that's how you add something now in terms of people, it's pretty straightforward, you click on the top level like I said before, the, the actual <coughs> project level and you click on this tab in here called partner and in there you'll see all the different partners yeah? all the different people that are added to the system so normally you don't need to get rid of people, but normally you need to add people. And the reason why you don't need to get rid of unless someone moved and they don't need to timesheet there anymore, sometimes you can just let them know not to timesheet there anymore, but if you want to get rid of them, you can as well. So to add someone, I'll show you how to add someone first. You scroll down here on the left, click in there, employee, click in there, and you go search, and it brings up this little window, and you can type in there asterisk, and you can type the surname only, but you can type, say, um, H-U-N-T for hunt and you can go tick and it brings up the people, see it brings arrow and then you just double click on arrow yeah, which brings up the number there, 43 and you go enter now 
and he puts Errol in there. Now he's moved it up, ordered, I think, there you go, it's ordered um, um, alphabetically. I think or some, oh, actually no, by number, 36, 41, 43, etc. Now the other way of doing it, obviously, if you know the number of the person, you can just literally go employee, type the number there, one, two, whatever it is, and just press enter and it'll add it as well. Yep. Now to get rid of a person, you just say, if I want to get rid of Errol, I click on Errol on the side there, see there? And that here, you can see a little button that says undo partner assignment. You just click on that. It says data will be lost, delete the selected partners. You can go yes, and it's deleted Errol from the list. Yep. I'll do it again. I'll delete Judith. I'll click in there, and it goes data will be lost, delete this, and you go yes, and it's just deleted Judith. Yep. So that's how you maintain this. Now, obviously, that's for S26, which is OS. You can do it for S27 or S28, and it'll be the same for all the different offices.